Hello everyone, you're watching FM 707.1, live from our iGEM headquarters at the University of Calgary Health Sciences Center. My name is Fahad Mirza. I'm on the iGEM uh, ethics and marketing team uh, for, the, for the 2009 Team Calgary. Uh, first, I will introduce you to my ethics team. We have got the amazing Mandy Chung, we've got the spectacular Emily Hicks, and then we have the hard-rocking Stefan Marcus, and myself, the Manchester United fan, Fahad Mirza. Um, today I will brief you about what we have so far done in our, uh, for the ethical aspect of our project. So basically, the, uh, our project is about quorum sensing. So quorum sensing is a cell-to-cell -cell communication system. It's the way by which bacteria coordinate their behavior. In our case, it's E. coli. It could have potential applications such as detoxifying oil spills or let's say developing antibiotics. Um, so, it's, since this technology could be used for good and bad purposes, so we have to consider the ethical aspect uh, of this of synthetic biology in our project. Um, for example, let's take the ethical issue itself. Um, could, this te could this technology be used uh, for bioterrorism? Um, or if there are casualties, then who is responsible for it? Right? Something like that. So we have divided our ethi the, uh, the ethical aspect of our project into five categories. Uh, namely the E3LS, which is an acronym for Environment, Economics, Ethics, Legal, Legal Issues, and the Societal Issues concerning uh, the, uh, our project and synthetic biology itself. For example, let's take economics, uh, uh, economical issues surrounding our project. Um, is, the, is our project time efficient? Um, is our project uh, time saving? Um, is our project cost effective? So we have to look at all these economical issues when we are making our pro when we're doing our project. Um, let's see. Let's look at a couple of the legal issues surrounding our project. For example, uh, we have um, legal issues such as um, should this technology be patented? Um, who, if, if so, then um, how then how are people going to use this technology? Um, who, who should have access to this technology? Who should have who should have access to the profit that this technology has? So these are some of the legal issues surrounding our project. Um, let's take environment for example. Um, we have, for example, we, if, if we unleash this, uh, the, uh, this system and bacteria into the environment, um, do you think it could be it could be harmful for the uh, for humans? Do you think it might be turned into something that is really harmful? Um, could some possibly turn against evolution or something like that? So some of these are some of the issues uh, con um, respect uh, regard um, issues that we have to look. Uh, for, uh, when we are kind of considering our project, um, so basically, what we, what we plan to do by the, uh, when we uh, towards the end of our project is that we will be writing an essay on on the ethical aspects of our project. Um, we will also be doing a video presentation on the ethical aspects of project. So we will have like more like a PowerPoint presentation, or also, and also have a group discussion. And this will be all videotaped, so we can also post it on our website. Uh, along with our ethics essay. Um, we also attended an ethics webinar which was held at the, which was commissioned by the uh, Syn Synthetic Biology Project at the Woodrow Wilson International Center for Scholars. And um, basically they, they gave us a good idea about what are the, what are the current issues that are surrounding synthetic biology uh, and what are the what, and how should we consider these? The, how should we consider the ethical aspects of synthetic biology? Um, let's say, for example, um, yeah. So they taught, for example, they, they they told us about the types of frameworks that we should consider for the ethical issues of project. For example, we have got the precautionary framework and we've got the proactionary framework. Um, and they also told us about what are the kind of harms that the, the synthetic biology might have. For example, we have the physical harm, for example, bioterrorism itself, and non-physical harm. For example, um, having a six foot, six foot two, blue-eyed, blonde, fat athletic runner. So basically, should synthetic biology be used to manipulate people mind, people's mind in terms of, you know, like getting the best baby in the whole world? So yeah, so basically this this uh, um, this webinar was pretty much helpful to us, uh, and we will be having we will be soon summarizing this uh, webinar on our uh, in, a, in a document, and we'll be soon posting it on our website, um, on our wiki. So thank you. I think that's it for uh, for ethics so far. I'll keep on updating everybody through this through, this, through my blogs. Um, thank you so much for listening to me. 
Um, you're watching FM 7.1. Uh, adios, amigos. Hasta la vista, señores and señoritas. Au revoir and goodbye.